Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in WWA 2K23. We're going to start by optimizing your windows. and After that, we will go inside of the game for the best settings. So now the best setting for windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's, it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game, so if you can find the graphics setting, it's because it's an option in the extra section. After that, go to graphics settings. So first of all, make sure that your texture quality is at high if you have 4 gig of VRAM and more. If you have less than 4 gig, I recommend to go with standard. You just have two different options over there. Window mode, just go deactivate so you want to play full screen. For the V-Sync, I see a lot of tiering in this game, so if you don't have free sync or G-Sync technology, you can definitely activate your V-Sync. It's not a huge deal, you're not playing Valorant, it will add a little bit of input lag, but you will not necessarily see it, so it's a question of preference. For the action camera, you just have two options, I recommend to go with 60, either way, even if you have like a, a low-end computer, just go with 60. Model quality, you have a couple of options, standard and high. I recommend to go with standard. I didn't see a huge difference between standard and high, honestly, uh, for the visual quality. And you will gain a nice 3% in your FPS. Shadow just deactivated. If you activate it, you have a couple of options, as you can see. But I recommend to deactivate it. You will straight up gain 12 to 14% boost in your FPS. Shutter quality, uh, I saw a difference of 1% between low and medium, medium to high at 2%, high to ultra 3%, so I recommend to go with medium or high, really depending on what is your objective right now for your FPS and what kind of computer that you have. If you're playing with an integrated video card, for sure go with medium. Anti-aliasing, you have two different options. I don't recommend the TAA, too blurry and you will lose too much FPS. If you don't like to remove the anti-aliasing because you don't you see too much like line moving when you're playing i recommend to go with basic anti-aliasing with the fxaa uh you will gain a nice three percent on the taa and uh if you're going off you will gain another two percent so my recommendation is go with fxaa reflection deactivated you will gain a nice nine percent boost in your fps uh, dynamic upscaling i recommend to go with linear uh, fsr1 is pretty trash honestly it's too blurry so i hope they're gonna patch it and maybe bring fsr2 or even dlss if you have an nvidia card but for now just go linear and you have two different options over there uh more about visibility i recommend to deactivate them uh, it will not give you a fps but still a depth of field go with off motion blur go with off also uh and yeah you will have a better visibility when you will play the game so this is pretty much it for my guide if you have any question just come in in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace